what a moral. Can I just say that this man is a moral? So you're telling me that you, you're putting your country first. That's what you claim. You claim that you're putting your country first, but somehow there is a situation where you, 24 hours before your, your team plays, <laughs> a day before your team plays, you are playing a Premier League game. And, oh, I had to go via the plane, but because of bad weather, I had to now go and stop to somewhere. So I now have to now take and um, go by car and travel several miles by car. And you arrive hours before kickoff. You haven't gone to camp. You haven't spent a week or two weeks before your team learning about communication and building up to it. But because you are the great Andre Onana, the second coming of Roger Miller and Samuel Etso, you now feel that you can somehow just waltz into this team. <laughs> the audacity, the arrogance of this man is incredible. It is absolutely incredible. Because if Cameroon had any proper self-worth, he shouldn't play a single game for Cameroon at this tournament. I don't know what's going to happen in the, Sen in the Senegal game. He should not be allowed to play. The fact that he's actually angry that he isn't in the starting line of where... Like, what do you... Do? Because... Is that, are you stupid or are you dumb? Choose one. Either you're stupid or you're dumb. Or maybe you're, you're a moron. How do you not see that this is not problematic? Are you greater than Drogba? Are you greater than Salah? Are you greater than... Let's even keep it in-house. Vincent Enyama. For, I think there was, for several seasons, Enyama was one of the best players in Ligon. One of the best players in Ligon. But he knew that come AFCON, sorry guys, I think it was Lil, I'm out. It is what it is. Okay, unless he wants the guys to collapse during the, the summer... Based on the climates of Africa, we have to go in January. It is what that is what you sign up for. When you sign an African player, you sign up for the fact that there is a strong possibility you will miss them for a few games in January. It's part of the cost. We have known this for this isn't something new. We've known this for several years. Again, Africa don't choose to play in January because they just want to be inconvenient, like the World Cup in Qatar. It's because in the summer, guys will literally collapse. <laughs> Guys would literally collapse. <laughs> okay, so I suppose it's the same thing with the But that's one side. Oh, Nana, you're immoral. And you are disrespecting Cameroon and you're disrespecting the AFCON. How do you play a United game hours before your team's opening game and think you could just walk into the team without being in camp previously? I mean, I mean, what if... And to compound it, you're actually a brick as well, who has been the meme of 2023, where their memes making you look like a damn auntie, where you're stuck in your own net. Absolute, absolute disgrace. Absolute flipping disgrace, man. Like that vid, hit the subscribe button, head over to the official website, and I'll see you guys on the other one. One love.